the main issue is that there's a loan that, had been, that has been proposed, as has been mentioned, to be taken offshore. And like we have said, Nairobi Hospital always had enough surplus and resources to function on itself. The problem we have is that this loan that is supposed to be taken offshore is supposed to be against hospital assets. And this has not been authorized by members. You can imagine that's a very sensitive issue. It has not been authorized by members. KHA members, we do not earn any dividends from the functions of Nairobi Hospital. As Dr. Musau has said, KHA, as you can see, and you can see it from our previous um, press conferences, is a spectrum of literally everybody. We are from very different backgrounds, and the, the most important thing for KHA is the continuation of the heritage of the hospital. When you hear that doctors have been suspended, we are talking about senior doctors who have given over 40 years of their lives to excellent health care provision. The very first dialysis that made sense was actually done within Nairobi Hospital. When you talk about critical care beds, I would draw you back to during COVID, when we could not breathe and all you needed was critical care beds. The benchmark was Nairobi Hospital. Now, if we destroy the Nairobi Hospital, who benefits? The other questions that we would want to ask is, if over 300 members of our consultants have told you there's a problem, why are you insisting that there is no problem? Yeah? There has to be some logic. Over 300 members of our senior, very senior consultants who've done a lot of good work in this country have told you there's a problem, and you, and you are elected by KHA members. Why are you insisting and still being in that chair? Who are you leading? Yeah? It, that should make sense. Nairobi Hospital, KHA, has always been a very democratic and, as you can see, literally the face of Kenya. All we want is excellent health care. We don't want our doctors threatened. In fact, being threatened by police within the hospital premises, that does not make sense. We do not want a management that threatens our staff. We want our staff to still be performing at the apex, not to be looking for other jobs. The hospital has existed for a long time. From 1954, I understand, when it was established, the hospital has made a name over these years, not only in Kenya, but also in the Eastern and African region. So we are worried about the trends that we see at Nairobi Hospital. The hospital over the years has had practices and policies that have made it survive all these years. And for anybody to claim that there are no policies that govern the hospital would not be telling the truth. I have been a board member, and I was a board member with Robert Cho, who has just spoken, at a time when there was a crisis in this hospital. And we set it up uh, as an interim board using the policies and the practices and the traditions that the hospital has built over all these years. Our wish is to have this hospital go back to the level where it was. And this is why we are concerned, and this is why we would like to have a new board to straighten the affairs of the hospital so that Kenyans and the region in entirety can start benefiting from our reputable hospital. The hospital has made a big impact in Kenya, in the region, as far as the healthcare services are concerned. Ah, you know, to that investment or proposed investment of 4.2 billion shillings, uh, which is supposed to be sourced 
from foreign sources. Uh, one of the things which I think is important is that this 4.2 billion represents about 35% of the current assets of the Nairobi Hospital, which is a significant percentage uh, coming when there seems to be a disconnect between the admitting staff association and the board of management and given uh, the fact that the Nairobi Hospital is primarily about health care, uh, it is of concern that this investment is being done in such an environment. Now, a major investment ought really to improve health care, and it is important that the admitting staff association are properly included in those discussions. And I think as we are talking now, uh, some of the problems that uh, some of the doctors have been going through is because they have questioned the board of management in insisting on maintaining representation that the admitting staff association you know, has changed. So it is a large number, 4.2 billion is a large number, uh, and it, can't, it should not be taken casually. Uh, the breakdown which is given about that number has got almost two billion, which is not specified what items it is going to be, you know, what specific items that is going to be. And two billion, again, is also a very, very large number not to be specified. Uh, and therefore, you cannot pin, you know, the implementation against the numbers that were given. It is also important to know that uh, our currency has actually been depreciating. We hope that is going to appreciate. But so far, there are no indications that is an appreciation trend. It is important, even when any project is being evaluated, for the possible deterioration of the currency to be taken into account in order to determine whether the proposed investment is viable. Uh, there are certain items which, uh, you know, uh, which are specified in the 4.2, uh, but there is also a group that has not been detailed, that's one. Uh, and the second thing is that, um, uh, you know, the extent of the possible depreciation, which is an, which is uh, unusual, a uh, usual uh, part of the evaluation process has been not taken into account. So it is possible that the loan repayments are likely to be higher in Kenya shillings than what is reflected in the evaluation. But it is a very significant number. It is like a, it's a revolutionary expenditure and possibly you would have expected that maybe there would be something about developing a university for Nairobi Hospital which has been in leadership and which has been overtaken by some other medical institutions you know, or something else to really bring down the cost of, uh, of treatment uh, of, or improve significantly patient care. Now, in order to prove you know, that it is improving patient care, it is very important that admitting staff association and the board of management are in agreement about the priority investments. There is also a concern about contracts and procurement in the hospital. I'm not saying getting into specifics, but I'm just saying this is an area that we, we need to, 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 to look at very carefully. Procur procurement, as you know, is a, is a major issue in many places and uh, I'm just raising it but I'm not getting into specifics but it's something that's, that we need to look at carefully. Are we paying too much for what we're bringing in? Are we uh, getting the quality that we should get? Etc. There is another issue that I would like to highlight which is that Nairobi Hospital, for many years, has been making surpluses. 
you can call it profits or whatever. And as a company limited by guarantee, those surpluses accrued. You don't give them to, to, to out to, to, as dividends. And so the hospital itself financially was, <coughs> was in very good shape um, with quite a lot of money that was uh, invested. Now we're talking about, at one stage, this board wanting to borrow 4.2 billion shillings um, on an offshore loan using the hospital assets as collateral. Why? How? This is something that just does not add up. So I think in summary, what what I'm saying, or what we're saying, is that there are a number of red flags in the hospital. And because of the importance of this institution, we here are expressing our concern that this has to be addressed sooner rather than later. Time is of essence. For someone who looks at government expenditure and future and past and whatever, when I see anything that is, if you like, dubbed as miscellaneous, the alarm bells go off. So I think uh, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking not as, a, uh, as, a, as an auditor, but that's what's worrying me is I don't think I mean, we should be asking about this figure. It seems to be very large. Is it justified? Can we, you know, can this, this hospital fully account for all of that, that, that borrowing to, to take place? I mean, I'm just elaborating on what he said. You guys have a moment. Go across. Just have a walk around. Nairobi Hospital and I think you will start to get the feeling that things are not going that well. So I'm, I'm just basically throwing that back to you. Um, if you have a spare five minutes after, just take a little look and um, I think you will see or realise that some of the concerns that we've been bringing up here Concerned has basically been because the government instructions of the hospital have not been followed accordingly. We have had serious issues. And this is not because of not trying. The doctors themselves have approached management to discuss some of these issues. And in fact, when some of these issues arose, um, there was a disquiet and it resulted in many other issues that are already in court. But for the time being and for purposes of completeness, as doctors we are concerned because the hospital where all the doctors who work in Nairobi and other places admit their patients is a hospital that's a Kenyan experience because it doesn't belong to any specific community. It belongs to all Kenyans. And for this matter, we want to serve this hospital and the doctors are with us on this. The doctor's platform is very clear and loud on the way forward for the hospital. So we would beseech the press and the members of the public to stand firm to make sure this Nairobi hospital does not go the way other institutions have gone. You have seen some very senior members of our hospital, which is the Kenya Hospital Association, which is actually the governing body of uh, Nairobi hospital. Unfortunately, some of these issues have been uh, sidestepped, and we find ourselves in a situation where we have to go to court, and this should never ever have happened, because Nairobi hospital has mechanisms of resolution. We got avenues in which we can sit as colleagues, as management. We should not reach a stage where some people have to go to court to prevent other people from continuing to make the hospital better. So I would ask you uh, to let this message get everywhere. And my fellow colleagues who are here, we've been working very hard. They will say one or two things. And then uh, we will uh, let you people um, know that uh, this is a serious matter. It's already in court. So we don't want to touch on many, many aspects which are already in court, but it's good for public image 
to know the hospital stands, the doctors are with the public of Kenya, but the doctors want to make sure that they can deliver the right service to the people with the right tools and the right environment.